Welcome back to GamecocksOnline.com. I'm here with Coach Scott Swanson after a, a big win for the uh, Gamecocks here on the road at Georgia. Coach, pick up your first road win and your first SEC win tonight. How did it feel to kind of see the team really perform on all cylinders tonight? Feels really good. Uh, I feel like we we came out of our mental slump. Um, we, we were just lacking some confidence the last few weeks. And I, I feel like we've been, even though we've lost the last couple of matches, we've been playing better. And tonight we came in and we're firing on all cylinders. We were very good offensively. Um, we, we dug a lot of balls tonight. And I uh, thought we executed the serve and pass game really, really well. And usually when you do those things, you're going to win. And uh, I'm just really proud of all of our kids. It's a really good team effort. You know, Georgia comes in winless as well, but it seemed like the way the team played tonight, you could have beaten anyone in the SEC. You were digging balls really well um, from all positions. Dessa had a double-double. Uh, Megan was approaching 20 digs again. Aubrey had double-digit digs. So it seemed like you were getting a lot of consistent contribution defensively. Yeah, and I, I attribute that to our serving game. We were really good at the short, deep serving strategy, keeping them out of system. Uh, we were forcing them to set high balls to their outside hitters. and. Our, uh, you know, our, our, our small people back there did a really, really good job of picking up a lot of those hard-driven balls to the deep corners and to middle back. And so you know, it, was, it was a combination of great serving, good block lineup, and really de disciplined defense tonight. And it seemed like offensively, the offense kind of benefited from the success up the middle. Um, Darian Dozier had a lot of early kills. Liz Johnville added a lot later in the match. It seemed like that benefited your pins to have so much contribution from the, from the middle attack. Definitely did. We passed well enough to establish the middle early, and, uh, and then we had a really good, uh, easy time siding out on the backside with our uh, with our right side hitters. And so, you know, it, that's that's the name of the game. We try to establish the setter dump in the middle early so that they have to honor it throughout the match, and that really helped us open up the pins. Now it's not every day you look at the stat sheet and you hold the team to about 100 hitting percentage and you only have two blocks for the match. Uh, it says a lot about your back line of the defense. Do you feel like you're, you're comfortable with where you're at with your subs having Joelle and, and Megan in at the same time, even though they've both been liberos at one time or another? Yeah, I, uh, I feel like it's steadied out our ball control. Um, they're both pretty good servers uh, and, and we're, you know, we're just digging. We're digging more balls and we're taking care of the easy balls that we should. To, uh, to be able to run fast transition. So it's, it's, it's important for our transition offense to have those those DS liberos back there handling the ball and putting it right in Aubrey's hands. All right, thanks for your time, Coach. Thank you.